I've said it in many reviews at Comic Book Bin, Fouche, Articulated Icons, Crimson Fury, Ninjas are the best red color ninjas on the market. This is Hervé from Comic Book Bin, filling you in since 2002. Like and subscribe. I've bought a few of the Articulated Icons, action figures, the ninjas. My favorite ninjas were always the Crimson Fury. They're a bit shorter in size than the Cobra Red Ninjas or Marvel Legends Hand Ninjas. The second series was better crafted than the first series with the articulation being more solid. These figures do have a problem standing up, but they're still some of the best ninja action figures in terms of their versatility, what you can do with them. You can use them in your G.I. Joe setup, in your Marvel Legends setup against Daredevil or Iron Fist. They're universal, they're perfect action figures. You can make them more classic looking, medieval looking, or more modernized with harnesses. I like to reuse those harnesses and put them on Valiverse action figures to builders. A few weeks ago, there was a sale on a batch of Red Ninjas, and now it seems that Fouche has decided to re-offer them again. My only issue with how Fouche sells these figures is that they sell them for $40 US. This is not what they're worth. They're worth much less than that. We all know that. And that's why they keep running sales on those figures. Yet these figures are popular. Fouche is very smart in that it knows that Hasbro Marvel Legend are re-releasing a new version of the Hand Ninjas. The G.I. Joe Red Ninjas are very popular. Now they're even in blue. Ninjas just sell. You have high-end figures also that come with a variety of ninja characters. I think they're pretty smart by releasing their most popular ninja yet. The multiple color ninjas were fun, but I don't think they were as popular as the Crimson Fury. Like I said, the Crimson Fury is a great figure, even though it likes to fall because the ankle articulation are not solid. Hopefully, this new version will have better ankles. I'd like to pre-order right now, but I don't like the $40 US price tag next to those figures. They're not worth that. They're worth half that price at best. But the good thing is that Fouche does run sales all the time. It's too bad that collectors have to wait. If they were to offer them at a decent price or at a sale, I would be buying them again. I've already got a few of them. I want more. They're just the perfect army builders. You can't go wrong with them. They come with a lot of gear, alternative hoods and heads, several hands, several weapons that you can store on the figure themselves, two different types of harnesses, and their colors are just beautiful. It's a bright red crimson that is perfect for your hand to builders or even your red ninjas over in G.I. Joe land. I'm a fan of those figures, but I'm not a fan of the price. Like and subscribe. This is Hervé from Comic Book Bin, filling you in since 2002.